So basically, in a nutshell, you can see um, I just grabbed some random uh, tree posts. Um, it's cheap. It's easy. Um, and I just basically cut it into different lengths. Uh, the lengths can vary um, depending on the scale size that you want to work with. I believe I made mine about 10 inches um, in length. Um, and then, you know, you just once you cut them, got them cut up. Go in about two inches. Again, this is also, it's up to you. I went in about two inches. And what I'm going to basically do here is that's where I'm going to attach uh, the rope that's going to attach them all together. Once you got them all kind of like marked up, then you can start. Um, I kind of wrap them around and then screw them into place. Use just one inch dowel screws. I mean, dry screws, excuse me. One is dry screws. Um, and that's just pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, doesn't really take much science to do them. Uh, my spacing, I just grabbed some random piece of square by square, you know, square um, dowel, and I just use it for spacing. Even that, again, uh, depending on the kind of spacing you want to use, uh, that's just a regular uh, three quarter by three quarter inch wood block. Um, and once you got them all together, it's going to look something like this. Once you kind of got it all screwed together. In a nutshell, uh, there again, how long should you go? It just, that, that, that's where you have to do some of your own math. Um, I was basically going from one big old rock to another big old rock, and I believe it was about 11 and a half, 12 feet. And um, that's how you can accomplish that. Um, and then so I grabbed a couple of two by fours that I'm going to use for my uh, braces. Um, as you can see, I marked it there. I need four of them at 23 inches. Bam, there they are. There it's cut. Um, I ended up cutting a little bit more because I wanted some, some more support in different areas because um, I want to be able to control the sagging uh, the way that rope bridges do. Uh, that's just kind of a rough layout of how it's going to look um, in the yard that I'm doing. It's actually my yard. Um, so that's a nutshell. So you can see I kind of clear out the path a little bit. Uh, um, and then so I just wrap the ropes and as I wrap them around I screw them into place so you just want to wrap around screw wrap around screw one on the inside and outside um, just keep it from sagging and then um, okay this is the, it's pretty much finished uh, this is the finished look uh, I you can see how I strapped it around each rock. Um, basically, what that is, I basically anchored it behind there, and that was full of support. Um, here, I did some loop arounds around certain sections just to kind of raise it up a little bit. I didn't like the way the sagging was going on um, there, so I just kind of like did a little bit of loops there. Um, but that's just how every like, and then like, like you can see there again, I anchored it behind uh, the rocks just to give it some tension. Um, and I continued the loop around for, between each, um, a couple of the slats, of the wood beams, however you want to put it, just to kind of hold them up, get my form. That's pretty much it.